Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that is currently in the beta version of Photoshop. That's version 27.0.0. With this new feature, you're able to access and use free stock images from within Photoshop. So if you're someone who often buys stock photos, you now could access thousands of free stock images and never have to leave the Photoshop workspace. But I don't think the benefits of this new feature are just for those that often use stock images. If you're new to Photoshop and you're trying to learn a new technique, but you don't have the exact type of image needed to learn that technique, you now could access thousands of free stock photos find what you need, and then learn that new technique. And that's the angle I'm going to take in this video. In this video, I'm going to download a couple of different stock images that I'm going to use for a composite. So let me show you how to do this. Now, as you can see, I have the beta version of Photoshop open. What you need to do first is open an image up into Photoshop, any image, even a new image. So I'm going to go over here and click on new file, and I'm going to do one that's relatively large. So this uh, 6,000 by 4,000 pixel image. So it's a relatively large image. Once you have any image opened up into Photoshop and you want to access the stock images, what you need to do is go up to file and then down to place free Adobe stock images. So you could click on that and then it will bring up this dialog and it will load the free ones. Now I mentioned that there are thousands to uh, choose from and if you just want to look around you could just go through and you can see they have them in categories. There's animals, architectural, celestial, fabric, food, so on. So you could just go through and find something that you'd like to use or you could search for them. I'm going to search for a living room. So we'll do living room and I'll just tap enter and then it will give me probably thousands of different living room images. Yes, there's 5,223 to choose from. And again, these are all free to use. If by chance you happen to have an Adobe stock subscription, you can start your search here and see the free ones and then access all of them, even the ones that you would have to use credits for by clicking this link here. But you, again, you do not need an Adobe stock subscription in order to do this. So I'm going to choose, I think, this living room right here. So we'll click on that and I'll click add. What it will do is it will drop it on the image. Now, if it's not the right size as this one is, it will automatically be in transform mode so I could resize it because obviously this uh, specific stock image is of a lower resolution than my 6,000 by 4,000 pixel base image. So just resize it. So we'll come up here and grab the handles and pull it out. Now, this one happens to be in the 3 to 2 ratio, so I'm good. Uh, if it wasn't, there might be some I'd lose on the sides, uh, but that's just something that you'd have to deal with. So we'll click the little check mark here. All right, so we accepted this transformation. Now, what I want to do is add another stock image of a dog. I want to put a dog in the scene over here on the left-hand side. And again, this is where I mentioned that if you're trying to learn a new Photoshop technique, uh, you could use these stock images to help you learn that technique. So let's uh, go up again to File, and then down to Place Free Adobe Stock Images. And I'm going to put a uh, dog. And I want to make it easy to clip out the background. So I'm going to put dog in Studio. That might help. And then we'll click Enter, because that's telling Adobe that I'd like a dog that has like a plain background, something like this. So you can see there's a lot of different uh, dog images here. And just as a matter of fact, there's 1,116. So uh, take your choice. I'll just pick this one right here and then we'll click add. And it's going to drop this one on the um, on top of the other two layers. The layers panel is over here. Let me kind of resize everything over here. We'll bring everything up here so you can see the layers panel here. We have the original background layer, which was uh, just that white background. And then I added this 
layer of the living room and then I added our little dog here. Now I need to resize it so that it properly is where I want it to be. And I want it to be maybe right here, like that. So we'll click the little check mark to commit to this transformation. Now I need to remove the background so I can go over to the contextual taskbar. I have my contextual taskbar pinned up here. What you could do is just take this taskbar, grab it on the left-hand side, put it where you want, then click these three dots and you can pin it. I don't like it bouncing around. I'd rather have it pinned. If you don't have a contextual taskbar, you could go up to window, then come down here and make sure that it has a little check mark next to it. Now, what I want to do is remove the background. So we're just going to click on remove background and it will take a second and it will remove the background and we'll have the dog sitting there. Now it still doesn't quite look right. So what we need to do next is harmonize. So get rid of the that and click on harmonize. And what it will do is it will give us three variations of the dog relit to fit the scene and often it will add a shadow. Now in this case it might not because the room's so bright. So there might not really be a significant shadow, but it might. We'll see what it does. And you can see it takes a second to do this. Now this will use generative credits when it does this. So you can see here's the, the dog relit properly. There it is there. You can see how it affected the shadows on that one in here. I probably like that third one a little better. I think that looks a little more natural. It looks like he's actually sitting on the ground. And if, you know, you're not sure, just click it through. You also, if you don't like any of the renditions that it gave you, you could generate uh, three more uh, renditions by clicking on the generate button again. But I kind of like what it did right there. So that looks pretty good. And we'll just close that down. Now, he looks just a little dark, doesn't he? So I want to brighten him up and him up only. So I'm going to use a specific adjustment and I'm going to use an exposure adjustment. You can see I have it here. And by the way, I'm in the photography workspace, which is the workspace I prefer to be in when I'm working on images. To get to the photography workspace, you would go up to window, workspace, photography. That way your workspace will look like mine. If you don't want to be in the photography workspace and you still want to uh, access the exposure uh, adjustment layer, what you can do is come down here and click right here, and then you could access it here. There's exposure. Now, right now, if I move exposure up, it's going to affect everything, and I don't want it to affect anything. I only want it to affect the dog, and the dog is a layer directly below. So all I need to do is clip it to that layer by clicking this little icon right here. Now, you'll see it only affects the dog. So we'll just bring it up just a little bit, and I think that looks more natural. And there is our composite. And you could see how we could easily use these Adobe Stock photos uh, to download them for free and just try out different techniques that we've seen other photographers do. But maybe we don't have a photo of a living room and our living room isn't set up in a way that we could actually do what we want to do. Or maybe we don't have a dog or whatever. And you could do composites. You could do anything. Anything that you see other people demonstrating, you could download some stock images that hopefully will help you accomplish what you want to accomplish. So, that's it. That's uh, the uh, new feature that's currently in this beta version of Photoshop. Again, that's version 27.0.0. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.